This story has escalated. As today, we turn to Vexoria, the Sun Eater, aka Vex, Twitch and YouTube partner, along with her partner, Zolon, the devoted Sun Eater cultist, providing her also tech support and management. And imagine our surprise when we turn to the lewd Lamia VTuber's Twitter account and saw this post, saying, Hi everyone, Zolon here. If you see people spreading Vex's real name or real life info, we ask that you do not engage and please block and report the post. The police have been notified of stalking and harassment, and we will be speaking with them further for our protection. Please do not attack the user or users. Please do not attempt contact with them. Please do not harass them. Please merely block and report the post so that this may end while we look into legal protection for our family. Thank you. The next day, Vex would post, Hi all. Just a quick update on the doctor situation. We have spoken to the police and have received a case number. We have handed over all our documentation of the user's activities for investigative purposes purposes, we will be seeking legal counsel. Right now, we believe our family to be safe, and by nature of contacting the police about their actions, they are now aware of this person and their activities, and can consult the documentation of their behavior should this person attempt to swat us or call Child Protective Services. We would like to thank everyone for their well wishes, concerns, and assistance in protecting our family against this person, their false accusations, and their attempts to involve authorities using false reports. To the person who needs to hear this, please stop. We want nothing more than to never have to hear about you again. At no point have we ever engaged in a campaign to harm you. The bans you have received from communities are due to your own behavior in those communities. And then three days later, we would receive this update. Hi, everyone. I am so sorry for the wait. I'm going to have to cancel the CB stream. The person that attacked us previously is now threatening to drop information about our children, and it's too much stress to deal with and try to do an adult stream. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry for the disruption this has caused to the streams, but ultimately I love my kids more than anything and their safety comes first. For the clear record, when I do anything involving adult content, the kids are out of the house so that they are not exposed to it. This is why I only do one CB stream per month because I don't want to overburden family asking them to watch the kids overnight more than once a month. I love you all. Please stay safe. I hope things will return to normal soon. And we will provide updates when available on this situation as next we turn to the platform Form that you're on right now, YouTube, who surprised us last night. Having uploaded our video and returning to the homepage, whereupon we saw this. That's right, it's an advertisement entitled Rare Wedding Fails. NSFW, not safe for work. Wedding fails that left nothing to the imagination. Try not to stare at number seven. It's being marked as an ad under the family and pets section and leading us to scratch our heads. As in the past two months, we've had two of our own videos age restricted for what we assumed was protection for their advertisers. The replies to this on Twitter were very revealing, with users then going on to share other questionable ads they've been seeing on the YouTube platform, both from the start of the videos themselves to mobile game advertisements, which could be seen as very provocative in what they are implying. Yes, that's right. We are censoring ads that you can see on YouTube itself, as we don't trust their own algorithm to not make this video age restricted. Ads which offer up not only sex, but as seen here, also violence. And who's also having fun with the YouTube platform is Kenji. That being Sun Kenji, celebrating 100,000 followers on Twitter and 200,000 followers on Twitch. And earlier letting us know that he had two Roblox videos age restricted, meaning little to no monetization would be available on these videos. Then asking YouTube for help. And then two days later saying in the past 24 hours, five of my YouTube videos have gotten falsely flagged and set to 18 plus with limited ads, stuff dating back more than six months ago. Am I getting mass reported? Appealing does nothing. I get rejected five minutes after I appeal with no explanation or reasons. It feels discouraging knowing that the appeals mean nothing and the system feels broken. I don't mind getting hit with 18 plus or limited, but can I please get a timestamp, a reason, anything? At least tell me what I'm being flagged for. Team YouTube would respond, asking for the addresses of the videos. Kenji would promptly reply with exactly that. YouTube would reply following up. Heard back from our team that the remaining vids will stay age restricted. This is because vids containing adult content and self-harm may not be appropriate for viewers under 18. Thanks so much for understanding. Leading Kenji to respond, thanks so much for understanding. K, I'll go f*** myself. There are other larger stories about YouTube and Twitch affecting all streamers. This as we had this announcement coming out of 
Twitch. They're virtual, vibrant, varied, and very ready for you to meet them next week. The VTuber Takeover starts Monday, August 29th. We have loads of reactions to this that we'll be covering next week when it kicks off with plans for this event involving VTubers hitting the front page of Twitch and ending in a large 60 plus VTuber Fall Guys tournament at the end of the week. And while we're talking platforms, let's turn to Discord. With many noticing, Discord has been falsely IP banning people for changing their profile picture or anything on their profile. As users would be warned, do not change your profile picture for the time being. And others also noticing, partner servers have been looking for what's causing the spam filters to be tripped and found it. The new Windows desktop client is for some reason sending 100 plus requests a second to Discord's API. Discord themselves would make no official statement on their social media, instead taking time to let us know that we should um, be one with nature and touch grass. While the Is Discord Down account was far more helpful, stating still getting reports of users getting banned, warned, but Discord still says that the issue has been fixed. Still reporting thousands remain locked out of their Discord account. It's been about seven to eight hours since this all started, and there still hasn't been any official statement on Discord's official socials. If you're locked out of your account for spam, it's not your fault. And one last time, we're turning back to Clip Studio Paint, the artist software which announced they are moving to a subscription model for their newer versions. And as we had earlier covered, received negative feedback from VTubers, such as Iochi saying, this is not it, y'all. You just removed the whole reason why we use your software. Be smart and go back to before. Catboy at Catboy Max saying, oh, nice, perfect. Now I can give up trying to learn this program since I don't ever plan to use it now with others looking to more classic alternatives. One thing we failed to mention when we first covered this and meant to tell you is that the owners of Clip Studio Paint, that being Celsius, has joined the Metaverse Standards Forum, a metaverse industry organization just thought you should know. And we all know how live English is Nanashi Mume, now hitting 3 million views on her original music video for A New Start and sending out these five red hearts. That referencing fellow Hollow council member Hecos Bells, the chaotic rat of Hall Live English, expertly illustrated here by Shio Gaki, and also in this one year of chaos piece, that from Hamluck saying, it's been a year already, happy anniversary. Yes, the final one year anniversary stream for Hollow Council occurred last night, while Bay also received this from the Bay Sewer Rats, a full art book filled with artwork and messages, leading Bay to respond, you guys are too cute, we'll be reacting to this on stream. But the biggest moment was this. As Bay would say, thank you for one year and release a million miles away. An eight minute long music video with full illustrations and animations assisted by Alice Magic and asking, did you like it? There's a cameo of every single active Hollow member, all of them. Bay made the suggestion as a joke, but we went along with it and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Yes, even including Nadoka, Achan, and Sora. With Hollow Live's original member, Tokino Sora, replying, very nice music video very moving. And the video receiving rave reviews, including Incredible by Series Fauna. Amelia Watson saying, this was so incredible. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Along with V-Singer of Hall Live English, Iris saying, words can't describe this beauty. And Babe responding, that's me when I look at you. Wait, what? Magni Desmond with Hollow Tempest also offered up a good job. Heikos Senpai with Bay later saying, thank you for the amazing year. I can't put into words how much you have all changed my life and how much I appreciate every single one of you. I love you all and I love Hall Live. Here's to many, many more to come. Along with another rat VTuber, Iron Mouse of V Shoujo. Stating congratulations on one year, Bay, my favorite rat. Here is to a million more rat years. Wow, I really like saying that word, don't I? And yes, Mouse is back to showing more expressions on Twitter, one after another, while also on stream, very quickly teasing her next look. Another reaction of This Is Beautiful came in, that being from the Monarch VTuber Amelie, sharing here her very very introspective way of life and letting us know tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, herself and Hall Live English's Maury Calliope will announce the winners of the hashtag Villain D's Vibes cover contest, saying huge thank you to over 200 entries. Come rock out with us tonight as we play and announce the winners and honorable mentions live on stream. Yes, the Grim Reaper is a music maker and was back to designing even more hollow EN swimsuits, putting on those bunny ears and starting 
starting with Nina My Eninus of Hollow Myth, and then showing off more on stream than we are comfortable showing off on our video. Giving us these final renders of not only Ina, but also Galgura, with Callie saying, thanks for spending cultured time with me, and then offering up this Burn Baby Burn version of the two, saying she's looking forward to drawing Iris and Hollow Council next. This as we have Gura and Ina back again, and more Umisi manga video shenanigans. That's right, it's episode 172 of Holograph debuting tomorrow. And we also have some very quick news from the Anime Festival Asia. That's right, it's AFA with AFA announcing don't miss a special appearance by Vesia Zeta and Kayla Kowalski from Hall Live Indonesia at the Odex Film Festival Anime Matsuri. This event occurring on September 4th. All while the Anime News Network dropped this interview with Yago, aka Motoaki Tanigo, Cover Corporation CEO and head of Hall Live, being asked with Hall Live Indonesia, Hall Live English and Hall Stars English, where would you be interested in seeing Hall Live production expand to next? And Yago replying, Japanese anime is big all over the world, so there are a lot of really strong markets. I don't have extensive knowledge about the international scene, but there are places like South America or Europe where a lot of anime are localized, and which are really interesting to me. We would like to try out those markets, and if things go well, we may also localize for those markets and foster talents from there. And here we have a talent from Nijisanji English, it's the penguin learning to stream. Petra Gurren styling and profiling with her brand new outfit and brand new bread is from the Dokuru Deluxe. Receiving from Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara, cutest newt newt blessed for life. And Petra last night tweeting out Rosami laughing while reading her own script is the cutest thing I've ever seen. That's right, we have yet another Obsidia Wave new outfit reveal from Rosami Lovelock this time, with this stream being watched by Vox Akama of Niji Sanji English, giving us a feet docs picture for free. And finally placing Rosami where she belongs in the God tier category. As here we have her new look with Uki Violetta saying, all hail the rose, all hail the rose. And Alira Pandora stating this is Rosami's booba arc. Yes, that's right. There was a little bit more of an upgrade for her too. Noticed here by Inna Alouette, who for a time had this as her banners, labeling both Petra and Rosami as Niji traders. The rose maiden beforehand would tweet out, I drank Red Bull, so my heart is 250 beats per minute. And later saying, I'm so sorry, I was so nervous. Stating, thank you for watching my outfit reveal. I hope you liked it. I was so nervous, but thanks for everyone's support. Here's a screen capture of the new outfit. Receiving from Kiara a so freaking cute. While Nina Kosaka would say, wake up, honey. Rosami is a princess. And if you happen to miss these particular outfit reveals, no worries. Nina is here saying, I'm sad I had to miss both Petra and Rosami's outfit reveals, so I'm planning to do a watch along of them on YouTube's on Tuesday, plus the lens. If you missed it the first time like me, or you'd like to relive the moments, you're welcome, my darling. Bringing us next to Scarlett Yonaguni, the beautiful and dependable enchantress of Nijisanji English, and asking a question of Ren Zoto, the deadly alien prince. That question being, hey Ren, what would your juice taste like? Asking for scientific reasons. Even leading to Finana Ryugu to reply with a what? Aster Arcadia saying, I love science, and Ren replying, probably sweet with a hint of cinnamon, as the Kyo's Copium account would point out, wait, isn't cinnamon like used to cover up poison? Scarlet also had another stream. After 9 hours, 54 minutes, and 23 seconds of blood, sweat, and insanity, my mama came and blessed me with her presence, and I beat Five Nights at Freddy's 3, Mama Buff for the win, glory, hallelujah, letting us know later, and we are demonetized. Saying, bro, YouTube legit hates me, only I would be demonetized for playing Five Nights at Freddy's. And that's not all, that is sus with Niji EN, as here we have Millie Parfait and her brand new banner, that being of her and her good friend Inna Alouette, who earlier both participated in the Niji Melody Relay, as here we have a small breakdown of the numerous Niji Sanji talents that had sung for the better part of 30 minutes each, relaying from one stream into the next. Quickly returning to this, however, Millie Parfait was again caught saying, why is this man talented? I want him to peg me, and saying this was a typo, with peg meaning to be 
hog and later going on to say i sent albin a photo of myself as his present for his 500k that being albin knox with millie replying to him come here someday so you can taste the goodness then later saying the goodies omg i'm tired don't really know how that makes it any better but okay and for goodness sake we are here with production kawaii tonight debuting their third generation that being with five new members which we intend to talk more about next week for you but who we're talking about now is Etheria's Utano Pandora, the singing panda, who has one day left for her goods on sale, including keychains, a plushie, voice pack, and more. Alongside this, a full merchandise collaboration with Pastel Melon, that involving two other members of Etheria, including Chapipi and Emma, and offering up both hoodies and shirts. We also have a brand new tease from 4V Live, a US-based virtual entertainment company, giving us this odd message. Where am I? What is this place? That involving Rosa, formerly of the now disbanded Haven X Group, seen here with 4V Live and her title in her revival arc, and replying, New home? Okay, very quickly, we're turning to SkunkTuber Tob, Twitch partner who yells a lot. <laughs> And as announced by Koki at Koki Monster, will be a part of this August 30th prison food cook-off involving not only Koki and Tob, but Callie and Nanners with Meat and Crembo judging. And from Tob to Straub, we turn to this comfy VTuber saying it's here, my very own Advanced GG starter pack. Get lots of yummy flavors to try, plus a shaker and a cute chibi sticker of me. You can use code Straub at checkout for 10% off your entire order. That's right, there are multiple starter kits, including one for us. And this this weekend, you can use codes STRAB or FALSE or any other partner to actually receive 20% off. What a deal! What a steal! This as we still have our Ubu Market merch drop featuring shirts, hoodies, and the hat. Feel free to check the link below for those. And yes, next week we have the debuts of our upcoming co-hosts, Cody and Heidi, starting on September 1st at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on YouTube, and then later collabing together at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific on Twitch. Join us on our YouTube stream tomorrow, August 28th at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, as we take a look at numerous auditions received for this wonderful casting call. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch, and we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.